We made a road trip and got a new wolf dog puppy. We made the trip in one day and brought him home. He was bottle fed and already well adjusted to humans. He's a mid content wolf dog. That's about 60% wolf. Bringing one home to other wolf dogs can be tricky. They're very territorial. So we took them to a neutral spot, which is never a bad idea when bringing home new pets. This clip is when we introduced Luna to Waylon and Dobro. Luna and Waylon were siblings, exactly a year apart, who never met, but they recognized pretty fast that they were related. After the meeting, Waylon started giving all his food to Luna, like a big brother wolf is supposed to do. So, we had to sometimes feed them separately. Luna would hog her food and then go ask Waylon for his. This went on for over a year. Oh, look at that. So here we are taking the new pup Silas to meet them all at a baseball park. We do this one at a time too, that way they are not in a pack mode when they first meet. It went very well, but they knew they were not related. them on leash till we were sure they accepted Silas, the new pup. Wolves in the wild can sometimes kill rival wolf pack pups. Although it seems cruel, it's nature's way of keeping wolf populations in check, which is much better than when humans try and manage or kill wolves through wolf hunting. So as you see, this went really well and they're all buddies now. We will still keep Silas in the house with us for several more days so that he continues to bond with humans. We also will socialize him heavily too with strangers.
share your food. Why don't you give them food? It's a new pack member. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you have any questions about wolves or wolf dogs, just leave them in the comments. Thank you.